Hey guys, it's Ross. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing good on this fabulous Friday. TGIF, baby. Yes, if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification button on that little side right there, please. So you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you are returning sub, thank you so much for your love support. Um, and many blessings to you also. Um, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Um, the life of an indigo. I pretty like it. <laughs> Dog, does this girl got anything else that she can relate to? It's like, yes, I feel like the, you know, the little monkey off of, <laughs> off of Lion King. Like, yes, this is Rafiki. You show you do it. You know, I feel like one of those kind of moments. You know, it's just like teacher and student things that I'm doing today. Right now, I'm listening to uh, Bob Marley. Um, what is it? Bob Marley. Uh, music therapy on 42 hertz 432 hertz um it's just like one thing after another after another you know i said losing my mom at 26 going through seizures for like six to seven months that was crazy and you know suddenly that was going away but that was a blessing and a curse at the same time because thank god they stopped because i know so many people with epilepsy that still have me for years and years at a time um to finding out you're adopted on your birthday to you know, overdosing a couple of times the near-death experiences but everything that you're that i'm going through i'm able to live to tell it and just to know that i can be able to make an impact on somebody's life is just a beautiful thing and even though it's a heartbreaking situation it has so many blessings behind it, you know, because it just seemed like my world was spiraling. It was really spiraling. I was taking blows left and right, you know, from family where I can look at it now, and it really wouldn't bother me. It's just the situation is really messed up. <laughs> and I've learned to come to terms with it. And it's just to you know every day. I know I'm making another step to be a better person, and it's just, there's so many times that I've contemplated uh, suicide, and, um, uh, turn my music down a little bit, That's, it got kind of loud, um, I had contemplated suicide a few times, and it's just now... It just seemed like after my dad's passing and learning the truth about it, even though it was so detrimental, it has made me a better person. It has made me a strong person. It has made me love and respect myself more to know that the things that I was going through and I was basically, you know, spiraling out of control. And I know things had to change. And um, it's a day to day process. But just to look at how I was from many years ago, um, it was just like I was a ticking time bomb. And, and I never thought I was going to be able to overcome something like that. And it, it when I can look back at my, my life and just know. You know, uh, she went through all this. You, you wrote a book about it. You have the scars to prove it. And, you know, it's going to be a, you know, better days is yet to come. And it's just for me to have to go through all this, I'm here to tell the story. To let you know things will happen to us that we will never understand we probably sometimes we'll never get that answer that we would want and hopefully you know you'll get the answers that you want but when i can look at the fact that you know dad i never got to meet my dad or i never been able to really get a father-daughter bond the way i wanted to and it's just now it seems stronger my relationship with my dad it seems like the connection is so much stronger since he has passed and and I know his 
knowledge that he has passed on to me has helped me grow to so much of a better person that where I would I love to make my videos and I love to tell you guys about it and my different experiences and wonder are you know have you ever been through something like that or maybe it's your time to probably come out and be honest with yourself and say you know yeah I got these certain gifts that you know people I really don't want to talk about because they make me feel uncomfortable or I might not know who you know because a lot of people just looking at you like are you okay are you sure you know, do we need to take you to the hospital? Because it's just, you know, if I was to go to a therapist right now, they'd probably lock me up <laughs> for the things I would tell them. Because it's just like, you know, going day by day and trying to heal and not getting all the answers that you, you need, that you know that you're going to get them eventually. It, it becomes a lot more tolerable, I can say. But I know things are going to be okay. You know, I know things are getting better. Wait, they're a lot better than they used to be. And it's just like blessings and sign come, signs come left and right. And it's just when you have to go through th many different things and you have to experience so many heartbreaks and hurts and pains just so you can live to tell your story and let people know it's okay to be different. It's okay to be special. It's okay to have a gift. It's not a mental illness. You know, people try to categorize us as ADHD and, you know, um, stuff like that, even though I do have it, to have it, but it's just the fact is, I guess I have to put a label on it. I really don't like labels, but if I was to be clinically diagnosed, they would tell me I have ADD or uh, manic depressive or something like that and a lot of indigos go through a lot of a lot of stuff like that especially with empaths too and with me being both on top of all the other things that's a lot to deal with <laughs> and for you to be able to stay sane and be able to tell a story like this and be calm because you guys will see me I've had my moments to where I will cry and it's just like now it becomes easier like I have my moments where I, I miss my dad the physical sense but I know it's okay because I know he's not in any more pain anymore and I know he's in a better place so that gives me hope you know knowing that a lot of things that I have basically been through especially in the last couple of months especially since he's passed it's like things that I wouldn't be able to understand like I was talking to a friend of mine and just so happened to talk about the song um that you by golly wow or the next you know uh, I'm playing my music on my playlist and I turn around and I'm like, oh my gosh, she's like, what's going on? I said, remember I just mentioned that you got golly wow next thing you know that's playing. So it's just like, I know that he's there. He just let, gives me signs like, you know, I'm here. You know, I hear you. And it, 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 it gives me so much comfort just to know that my dad is there to support me. You know, even though I can't see him at times, I can hear him at times, but I know he's here a lot. But there's times that I might not hear him because I'm, you know, stressed out or aggravated or something like that. And he's trying to get my attention and, he's, you know, I'm just shutting off everybody. But um, it's just a process that we all have to go through, especially with you being indigos. It's like sometimes it's hard for me to go out to theaters because you're feeding off of so many different emotions. And as there's times, it's like the more I learn about myself, the more sensitive I get. So now I'm trying hard to control it. Because especially if somebody's going like through a death or a grief, and I can feel it. And it, it's like I'll get the pictures like a movie in my head sometimes. And it's just like, you know, I'll just ask them, you need a hug and stuff like that. Because I know what it feels like to feel that way. To feel alone and your heart is breaking because... It's just like after my dad's passing, I just always felt like my heart was breaking. Like, why did, why did this happen? Why did it have to happen? But it was just like I had to go through this just for me to be able to have a story to tell. And I said, that doesn't make any sense to me. And I'm just like, I didn't sign up for this. And it's like, uh, yes, you did. <laughs> long, 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 long time ago, you signed up for this. So um, it's just, you know, the day of meditation, learning how to eat right. Um, which sometimes it can be a challenge, but, you know, like I said, I'm a work in progress. 
So, um, and it's just day by day, you know, it's going to get better. And it's like with meditation, prayer, you know, staying around positive people, eliminating yourself from things that no longer serve you. Uh, try to have positive thinking, you know, even though that can be hard at times, especially when you have things coming at you left and right. And, you know, and then you'll learn, it's like when you start treating life as a blessing, you'll see how things start to change for you. And that's all pretty much that I got to tell you guys. And I will talk to you later. Much love and blessings to you. Please like and subscribe. Not drop a comment. And much love to you. And you guys have a safe weekend. If you're going to drink and party and stuff like that, please do it responsibly. And I will talk to you guys later. Um, I'll probably go ahead and take a break since I've been going hard on these videos for the last few days. So um, I will talk to you later. Much love. Peace. Be wild.